Good afternoon. Hello, how's it going? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Doing good, yeah. Well, and uh, move on to Safeware and learn a little bit about Safeware from Jenny and see what we can uh, kind of, what kind of bridges we can connect or what we can learn from Long and uh, Jenny here. So the floor is yours. Thank you for joining us. Okay, great, what, thank you. Yeah. Let me share my screen. So we're moving into a very different direction now, <laughs> I guess. Um, okay, so let me just uh, say just a couple of words about me. So my name is Jenny, as I said, and I'm here from Safeware and I'm in charge of international operations. So as you can see, I'm not Korean, I'm from Switzerland, but I've lived here for over seven years. And um, yeah, I, I am in charge <laughs> of export international sales and marketing here. So that's why I'm here today. And uh, I, We'll just give you a brief introduction first about our company and then talk about the product that you can see here on the screen, uh, which is a wearable airbag for motorcyclists um, and which is one of our main products. So um, if I just move on to our introductory slide for the company. Um, so basically, we are a developer and producer of a variety of wearable airbag products. So it's not just for motorcyclists. Uh, we also have, for example, the one, the product that you can see, here, which is for construction site workers um, or hip protection airbag belts uh, for the elderly and so on. But the one for the motorcyclists is the one that we see the most potential for the Vietnamese market, which is why um, I'm going to introduce that product here today. So let me just start with a short background of how we got to develop this wearable airbag for motorcyclists, which is basically, if I just summarize it, in one sentence, <laughs> the steady increase of motorcycle accidents, despite the increase in total traffic accidents. So overall traffic accidents are going down, but nevertheless, motorcycle accidents are steadily increasing. And we can see this phenomena actually in South Korea and all over the world. Um, uh, yes. Yeah. I mean, you can see the graph here. <laughs> and this graph really, as I just said, it holds uh, true in Korea, it holds true in Europe, in the US and in the rest of the Asian region as well. And especially with the recent COVID-19 crisis, we had a boom in the delivery industry, right? And there are so many more delivery workers uh, using the motorcycles, which has also contributed to a recent uh, more rapid increase in motorcycle accidents, especially in Korea. And if we look at Vietnam specifically, we can see that, uh, first of all, that the fatality rate per accident is much, much higher than it is uh, compared to other Southeast Asian countries or even China or the US. And in Vietnam too, if we look at the statistics, we can see that motorcycle accidents belong to the leading <laughs> cause uh, of traffic road accidents. And thus, not just in Korea, but also in Vietnam, the need for a more safe, a safer protective gear for motorcyclists is really necessary. And this is the background against which we have started to develop um, this product. Um, so the solution um, that we have is uh, what we call, or the name <laughs> that we have come up with is the Air West. And we have basically two series right now. It's the M1 and M2 model, um, which is the, the one that you can see here on the screen is the M2 model, which we had kind of, it's kind of weird that we came up with the M2 first and then the M1. <laughs> The M1 followed, but that's how it that's how it happens. So this one is the M2 model, and how it works is that uh, basically there is a lanyard here that connects the motorcycle to the motorcyclist, and if an accident occurs and the motorcyclist is thrown from the motorcycle, this lanyard will stretch, and there's a little key ball in front here that is inside the vest, and as this key ball is pulled out, the airbag will inflate automatically, and it will protect. Uh, this happens within 0.2 seconds. 
So it will protect your body before you hit the ground to reduce the impact of the fall. That's how it works. And uh, like I said, we have these, uh, these two models at the moment. So this is the model M2. We have used very uh, strong materials. So this is polyester and Cordura fabric, which is very durable. But we also have the mesh fabric inside so that you can use it even in, on a hot day or in a hot, hot environment. And it's still very breathable and permeable. And uh, we also offer, of course, customizing if that's, that is necessary. So for example, in Korea, um, we target mainly the delivery um, services, as I said before, since that is one of the main problems here. So for example, what we have done is having the customization for Pedare Mintok. It's one of the delivery services here. So it's, it's nice and blue with the, with the logo on it. Um, and then we have the M1, the other model, which is a little bit less like a West and more like a harness, which is just a different different design. So depending on, on your, your own <laughs> um, likings or the motorcycle that you ride as well, right? Not everything um, goes along with every bike since everyone has their own style. Um, but otherwise, the whole inflation process is the same. Uh, you can just see here uh, the specifications a little bit uh, more. Like I said, uh, it's made from polyester and uh, Cordura fabric. This one also has Teslan inside, which is also, or it's made of Teslan, which is also very durable. And one important thing is that you can reuse it. So basically here in front, you have a CO2 cartridge. Um, which will lead the air back to inflate and you can just exchange this cartridge and then you can reuse it over and over again, which we hope is not necessary, right? <laughs> but <laughs> just in case, um, you can definitely reuse it. And we have performed some, some tests to check of how much the impact can be actually decreased through the airbag. And uh, we have made, like, there has been none none no no test facility in korea actually so have we have made this testing device in korea along with a different um, testing facility so that we could actually test it and at the end uh, it showed us that the fall impact can be mitigated by up to 55.4 percent so it can really you know of course we cannot guarantee 100 percent to protect you 100%, but at least we can make sure that a serious injury can be re reduced to just a minor injury or to we can prevent fatal accidents to just getting injured, right? So basically that's, that's the idea of the product. Um, as I said before, like you can use it, you can use it as an individual, as an individual or also within a business. And, um, I will skip this since this is more about the, the professional one. But yes, we are very active overseas. Uh, we are participating in a variety of, of exhibitions. We have done a lot of um, acceleration, pro acceleration programs. We are also doing acceleration programs right now. Uh, we were designated as a cheapest company, which is the uh, uh, recommendation for the overseas public procurement market. And yeah, that's it basically from my side so far. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much, you. Jenny. That was really interesting. That's a really mm -hmm. cool product. Uh, can I, just before you get started long, I have just a yeah, quick yeah, sure, curiosity sure. question. Sure. Two questions sure. actually. Yeah. One is, that's really light. Like that's one kilogram you said? Yes, exactly, exactly. Uh, that's, I saw the thing I saw on the slide. That was really cool. I guess that wasn't a question. My second thing, uh what yeah. if i what if i get off of the motorcycle and i still have it on that it, does that inflate how does that work yeah. so we we get that question a lot you're not the first one to <laughs> that. So because i would do that that's why I <laughs> no actually a force of 30 kilos has to be pull, pulled pulled mm. on the lanyard so that it inflates just because people forget <laughs> to disconnect <laughs> themselves, right? And so yeah. we we try to make it that that not that that does not happen. But for example, let's say you you you're sitting on the motorcycle and the motorcycle falls, so that might 
like in, in a standing position, right? Not in a writing position, but maybe you cannot, it's too heavy or whatever, and it falls. That might lead the airbag to inflate since the, the motorcycle is really heavy, right? But if you just get off, it should not inflate actually. And okay. uh, let me just, I actually, I have it here. I don't know if you can see it very well, but I will show you anyway. So this is how it looks at the part of the vest. So actually, you can really connect it, re disconnect it really easily. So the lanyard is actually always mm -hmm. at the motorcycle. And you can just disconnect the, bu the buckle here, right? And then you can connect it again. So you can just open it like that, and then you're disconnected. So it's not, it's not a big thing <laughs> to disconnect yourself from the motorcycle. Yeah. Okay, thank you uh, for answering our question. Long, why don't you take the floor if you have any questions? Yes, thank you. Um, I, I remember that I, I talked with Jenny uh, from uh, ICT last year, and I, I'm really, I really like the product, you know, uh, because uh, as you know, in Vietnam, there are a lot of, lot of motorcycles, and um, we, we also have a lot of uh, traffic accident, but the, the, the number of people who get in, injured and, and death in a traffic accident, uh, the, the number is always involved with uh, motorcycle, motorcycle rider. So, um, uh, so this product uh, really, really uh, uh, get my attention from the first time. So, yeah. Mm, I, I am a, a, a vivid rider. I, I ride to, to work and to uh, other places every day, so I really like it. Um, but uh, I just uh, have some, some more questions for you. Like, uh, um, um, can, you tell, can you tell me, please, uh, uh, how it, uh, how it uh, on uh, began the idea and the product you you told me from last year that uh, uh, Iran began in Japan and uh, and then a leader in your in your company will get inspired by by, by the idea and, uh, and he developed yeah. the, 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 the first commercial commercial product yeah. Yeah. and you can use it towers. Um, so I think, uh, I, I'm not sure if I understood correctly, but yes, um, basically that's kind of the story of how Safeware was founded. So of course this, yeah. this uh, product here, the background, as I said before, is just uh, because there are so many motorcycle accidents. Um, but then we have the product that I showed you on the first slide here, which is the one. So basically this one is for construction site workers and it's a little bit different. There's a sensor inside. And if a construction site worker who works at heights falls, the sensor will detect the fall and it will inflate the airbag automatically. So that's our main and first product. So Safeware was founded through this product basically. Mm -hmm. And um, so there was a similar or there is a similar product in Japan as well, but the, the Japanese product, it does not protect the front, it only protects the back. And so our CEO, um, Daniel, he, he was working before in the um, rescue and emergency um, area as well. And he just saw how many accidents there were on construction sites, on industrial sites in Korea. And he really thought that there should be a solution to this because even though there are safety harnesses and there, is, there are, um, I don't know, safety training and scaffolding and everything, still fatal accidents happen. And he saw that and he thought there has to be a solution to this. And that's basically how everything started. So that's how we started to produce this product and then expand it to other product lines as well. So that we could not only help construction site workers, but also, yeah, motorcyclists or the elderly who are prone to fall accidents as well. Okay. Mm, about is this, this uh, your, your first product? Uh, um, uh, what's the reaction of Korean consumer? So, do you uh, do they uh, like use this a lot? For this one, for the for the consumer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yes, actually, we're uh, we're dis we're distributing or we're selling the product. So that's the slide I skipped before. But we actually sell it all over Korea on the construction sites to all major um, big companies such as Samsung Construction or Hanwha, Lotte, Hyundai. Um, so we are distributing this product or selling the product all over the country. Um, and actually last year, so two years ago, the usage of smart devices became mandatory on public construction sites and last year on private construction sites. So that helped us a lot. So basically, usually it's just like the smart safety helmets that were used on the construction sites, but with this law, um, the, our sales increased a lot, right? Since construction sites, they have this incentive or they have the government, um, government what's that order <laughs> to use these kind of products right so that has helped us a lot with the increase of our sales and with our distribution in korea but uh, this product has a sensor system so it's like more more likely it's more more complex than the, the version that you want to introduce to the Vietnamese market right? uh, so uh, the one of the reasons so far, actually, we're not exporting uh, the construction site one, and there are two. Like the one of the reasons, the 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 biggest reason why we're not exporting so far is that for this model to exchange the cartridges in the back, it has to be sent back to us, and we have to exchange it. So. Mm -hmm. And the exchange of the cartridge is not that easy. So we cannot just sell it to a seller or export it to a seller overseas since they do not have the knowledge of how to exchange the cartridges, right? And if something is done wrong here, it will not, it will not inflate in the case of an accident. So that's one of the main concerns. And we're actually now making a new model of which the prototype is to be released by the end of September, where the exchange will be possible by anyone. So that will make it much easier and that will make it possible for us to export this product as well. But uh, one of the other concerns for us for uh, the Southeast Asian market in general is the price for this one. Uh, actually, even in Korea, <laughs> we hear a lot that it's too expensive. <laughs> so, um, which is, I mean, considering <laughs> considering that it saves a life, right? Basically, it should not be seen as too expensive. If an accident happens, if you go to the hospital, the costs will be much higher for the treatment than just buying one product. But um, the, the companies, they do not want to spend that much money on uh, on just one West, right? If they are not that concerned with the safety of their workers. So this one right now is sold at a price of $950, um, which, yeah, you can reuse it, right? So you can reuse it over and over again, but this is still one of the concerns as well that we have price-wise. Um, which is which is just because, because the sensor technology is inside. If this one, that would be the same for the motorcyclist one. That's why we didn't make the motorcyclist airbag um, with the sensor technology, just for it to be cheaper and more affordable for actually more people. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, I see that uh, yes, uh, last year you have only uh, M2 version and now you have M1. Um, so, um, do you uh, put your your product into Vietnam? Or it's just a prototype. Uh... Um, so far, we are we have not um, we are not exporting yet. But actually, one of the changes that happened since we last spoke is that we shifted our production pro uh, our production process from the factory in Korea to a factory in Vietnam, oh. which would make it much easier now to sell it in Vietnam, right? Since the product yeah. will be already there. So um, that definitely made it easier. And we could also, now we could go down with the price even further thanks to the production in Vietnam, which will also be a great help, I think, to the export in Vietnam. Uh, can, you, can you explain more about the difference between the two of us? Because uh, 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 
I uh, can hear it clearly. In um, actually, there's not there's not much of a difference. It's really just the design, and this one um, this one is is uh, is a little cheaper. Not because it's worse, but because there is there is less fabric. Less right? It's just the harness. It's just the harness which makes it cheaper. Um, but basically, the only the only difference is the design and the fabric use. Actually, this one has an even stronger fabric than the M1, like I said, be, uh, the M2, like I said before. So here we have the Teslan um, fabric inside as well, which is really, really durable and really strong, even stronger than polyester. Um, but that's the only difference. And it's a little lighter from the weight as well, since there is less fabric. Right? But otherwise, it works exactly the same as the M2. Uh, Tesla is a guy of uh, Kevlar, or, or, or can you tell me more about the material? Tesla. Uh, the Tesla? Yes, it's it's um, so basically what we had before. What I told, what I talked to you about last year were these two products, right? So actually, here we added this reflective film as well, since this was also a concern that you might not see it in the dark if it's all black. So from all black, we changed, we added this reflective film. And here we were using Cordura fabric for this one, which is also a very durable product. I think it's 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 five times or six times stronger than polyester. And Tesla is the same. It's a very, very strong and very um, durable uh, fabric, just as Cordura as well. One more question. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, you know, uh, Vietnamese people has a lax attitude towards safety, so it's quite hard to convince them to use uh, safety equipment and, and your equipment. Um, so, uh, do you have any plan to, you know, show your product and benefit of your product? So, we can be convinced and, and use your product. Yeah. Or something like that. Exactly. That is definitely also another concern. I mean, um, not just in Vietnam, right? Actually, everywhere. I don't know if you're following the news, but um, another product that we're now in development of is a vest for the e scooters. And there are so many accidents with the e scooters lately. It just today. Um, we saw the news of two guys on one e-scooter and they were riding and they were, you could see it, they were hit by the car and they were thrown away. And just like that, they were not using a helmet, right? Even though it's mandatory in Korean to use the helmet. And we do not know yet if they survived that or not. If you look at the video, it's really, it's really scary. You get goosebumps if you see that. And almost every day we can see the news of, um, of accidents like that happening and people not wearing the helmets, even though, of course, it's much safer. So it's really hard, I think, to change people's minds. And especially with a helmet, it's like, uh, I did my hair, I did not want to wear a helmet or something like that. It doesn't look good, whatever. And I think um, with a good marketing strategy, actually using a vest could be even easier um, to convince people than using a helmet right because of that problem so for example there's always there's also this kind of neck thing from hofting from the swedish company for um bicycle right for bicyclists bicyclists <laughs> bicyclists i don't know the word <laughs> for bicycle riders and it will also inflate over your head like that right um and that's also people people are annoyed they do not want to wear the helmet right so i think maybe wearing a vest could be a little more agreeable to some people. But then again, we have the hot weather, right? Um, people complaining that it's too hot, whatever. But I think with a good marketing strategy, definitely one of the first things that, have to, that has to be done is to increase the consciousness about safety. That's one of the first steps, because if people do not think that this is necessary, it's hard to sell the product in the end, right? Um, so that's definitely something that has to be looked at. And I think um, if we can work together with a Vietnamese uh, distributor or seller, because they will know the market 
best, right? We we do not know Vietnam as well as a as a Vietnamese person, just as they will not know the Korean market that well. So in in cooperation with the Vietnamese company, I think um, with the right marketing strategy, we can definitely for a first step raise the awareness on the importance of safety, and that will help us um, to to actually sell the product in Vietnam. Um, um, one one more small question: Where is your uh, factory in Vietnam, and uh, where where do you plan to to sell your product in uh, large city or? Uh, where where the company is? Uh, where is your 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 production uh, uh, plan? You know uh, the production your, plan. So uh, yes, so we're get uh, we're still in the certification process actually. So as soon as we get the cert, actually we will get the result this week. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. Any day now, <laughs> we will be ready. When we get the certification, that's when we will start. Uh, we, I think, we have we have scheduled the uh, the production of some large quantities by September, and so we will go into into production very very soon. Um, and. Um, Yes, we will go into production very soon, but we definitely want to have the certification first. Like for, for any market that we enter, even though it's a European, we're getting the C certification. So it's a European certification, but still just for the safety of everyone, it's really important to have the certification first. So we will have to get the certification and that's when we will um, actually go into the export and selling, uh, selling stage. Thank you. I uh, definitely went by one when it appeared on the market. Great, thank you. Thank you, <laughs> thank you so much for that exchange. Um, I have so many questions that we don't have time for, but it is interesting. I was trying to be smart and look up statistics on the phone from the uh, kickboard, they call it kickboards here, right? The scooters. Yeah. And uh, the, I think the saddest thing is that the first thing I typed in was kickboard and then google auto translated or auto filled to kickboard the uh, sago which means kickboard mm. accident and i was like wow that's because i see it all the time two people on it and i just think this is this is not gonna end well so uh yeah i don't for, i don't know if you saw the the two girls on the olympic oh. olympic ropes <laughs> they were on the street of the cars without yeah, a helmet i mean i cannot believe it yeah I, it's <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, all those products sound amazing. Uh, and of course, best of luck, specifically starting with uh, the motorcycle get up the gear. Hopefully that goes well with Vietnam. Thank you. Thank you.